Welcome to a, another Steve Dog review off the back of our match at home to Bath City yesterday. Let me show you a few of my views and emotions through the game and I'll give you a, ro a wind up, roll up, mop up at the end. Half time at Torquay. Torquay, nil, Bath City nil. I'd say the goals are slightly on top. Best chance coming for Brett McGavin on about 14 minutes. Pile driver of a strike. Keeper um, turned around the post. We had another shot from McGavin, and then I couldn't see from this end who um, who also forced the keeper into action at the far end. A um, couple of half attempts for Bath. Goals are on top. We need a bit more out there. Um, just to create something. So folks, we've got um, Dylan Crow, Dylan De Silva, at all, and behind me in the um, little Dubry back here. They reckon that it's gonna be two or three goals to the goals. Two or three from Dylan and Dylan. Okay, Let's hope they're right. <laughs> Dylan just hit a pile driver. Took a nick, keep it another chance, 1-0. And there's a foul. About three or four minutes to go. Absolute foul driver, what a goal. Come on! Ace Hall seeing the ball out here. Eight seconds left to stop his time. This is going to be a massive result if we uh, hang on here. Come ref, blow up. This is it, come on, just get in the corner, stop deep. That would have been sewing it right up, but it's time's got to be gone now. There we go, yellows win. Come on, 1-0. Just what we needed. That'll do us. So there you go, folks. Hopefully you could see that the the goals certainly had a few chances there. They had more chances than the course that I'm showing and see the talking about official highlights for all of them. Um, goals were the better side, without a doubt. Probably in charge for three quarters of the game. And, of course, when you're winning a match towards the end, teams are going to come back at you. And, of course, Bath had a go at that. They... Um, applied some pressure and the goal stood firm. Standout performances, Tomlinson did have a good half. I mean, they do feed the ball through him a lot to build out of defence. Um, I thought Marshall, actually, I've been, a I've been a critic of him. He had a pretty solid game. And Donnellan, who I've also been critical of, he tried his luck. You know, he bought a lottery ticket at the end to win us the match. So fair play to that guy. You know, we've got to put things behind us and move forward as we can. Um... I thought Dean Moxie had a good game. I thought um, well, McGavin is looking more and more so solid. Up top, Stobbs, really a good threat on the ball. Maybe needs to, we need to figure out where he's actually crossing it to because sometimes he overhits, there's no one there, but I get he's trying to keep away from the goalie and hoping someone's going to get in on the back door. I thought the um, Dolan and Lewis Collins were pretty good. Um, Brad Ash was pretty ineffective, I would say, in the first half. And I know there's a lot of people criticising Brad Ash. I think Brad Ash can be a good player for us, but he's just got to find a way of making it work for him. Um, and I had a bit of a chat with Dylan De Silva. It's exciting times ahead with that kid. Um, he'll be fully over his injury soon. And I know when. So anyway, onwards and upwards. A lot of criticism still from a lot of the fans. People saying Gary out, all that sort of stuff. Um, we had a good win. We need to back it up now Tuesday night with another one. And then we've got to then maintain that level of performance. And then when we get Jarvis, when we get Dawson back, um, we should be a force to be reckoned with. So there you go. Pretty content today, actually. Really enjoyed the, the game. Um, it was tense, it was exciting, it was everything you want in a football game and to win it. So there you go, folks. Happy bunny here. 
um, like and subscribe and um, if you like I could do my own player reviews if you want to see that just comment below catch you guys on the football football flip side <laughs>